Hello computators, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install SyncThing on a CentOS Linux computer and get it syncing with other computers in your system and your Android devices. So let's get started. We're going to go to computate.org and check out the SyncThing cluster here. Now if you don't want to purchase the full SyncThing cluster, where you can design your own cluster of computers and run the automated bash script, that's okay. You can still check out the sample syncing cluster summary here. And I've already shown you, I show you here exactly how to install syncing on a CentOS computer. It's got all the steps. So you can check that out, but we're gonna go do the full design. So I'm going to log in to the site here. And go to my sync thing cluster. So we already have a cluster with a Windows computer and a Ubuntu Linux computer and server. And so we're going to go add a SyncThing computer. Zoom out here. And this is our new computer. So this is good. You can customize the operating system, but we're already running CentOS 7 desktop. Uh, now let's check out what our host name and IP address is. So we pull up a terminal and enter hostname, which is centos1.computate.org. So I copy that and put that in here. and grab the IP address with IP space adder and we'll find that in F0 right here 192.168.122.41 slash 24 okay so we plug that into our IP address now these IP addresses make a difference especially on CentOS because CentOS is firewalled and so other computers won't be able to connect to sync thing on CentOS unless you've um, added them as trusted computers in your firewall so that's that's what we're gonna do here now the rest looks good we click on our CentOS computer and add a sync thing server for it you can add as many of these as you want. Just create, um, you have to customize the ports and the user for each different server on the same computer or else you'll have conflicts. Okay, so this is assigned to the centos1.computate.org computer and it's gonna use the user local which is our current user local so that's good and it'll create a group called syncthing dash user so that looks good we just need to download the bash function for our cluster save that and since it's bash, make sure you run it with bash downloads cluster sync thing dot sh. Okay, so we run this. It's going to create our user sync thing. Now this is going to run and step you through the whole process step by step with pauses. So we can run that. It asks for our sudo password, so we enter that here. We're going to create a directory for sync thing in slash op slash sync thing. 
we will um, change the owner and group of that directory to be sync theme and the group sync theme. We're going to give read write permissions to uh, the directory for the user and group. And now we will download sync theme. Here it comes. Now we need to extract that zip, that uh, tar file, and it comes with this big long directory here with the version in it. We're gonna s we're going to move everything out of there and into here, and then remove that extra directory. Okay. Here's where the firewall comes in. We've set up the other computers on the network. This is our Windows computer here with that IP address. So we trust that now, and we trust it permanently. We trust our Ubuntu One machine, and we trust it permanently. And then we add ourselves to the trusted zone, which is probably redundant. Okay, so now we create this group. So just conveniently, we can have all the users on the computer use the same group for their sync thing servers, but you can do it however you want. And we add the local user to the syncing user group. Okay, here we create a service to run our syncing application, sorry, our, our syncing server. We're going to reload the service daemon so that it knows about our new service and enable that service so that when the computer starts, our service starts. And restart sync theme and check the status of it so we see if it's running here. Scroll up a little and sure enough it's active and running. Excellent. Now this command will open sync theme in a browser. And sure enough, there it's running. Okay, so in our previous videos, we set up a Ubuntu computer and a Windows computer. Let's make those talk together. So I'm going to go back to the Ubuntu computer and find out its ID. We show ID, and it has an ID of ER5. So if I go back to CentOS and click Add Remote Device, if I type in ER5, it already knows about that just from seeing it on the network. So, so we know that so we know that they're talking together. Okay, so this is our ubuntu onecomputateorg We'll save that, and then go to our Windows computer, get its ID, show ID, which starts with AQI. So back to CentOS, and show ID, no, sorry, add a remote device, AQI, there it is. So this one is called windows1.computate.org and save that. Okay, so our CentOS box knows about these two. Let's go back to Ubuntu and if we're patient, we should see, oh, yep, 
Ubuntu now knows about CentOS, so we add that device. And we're going to share pictures with CentOS. So we save that. And we go to Windows. And we can see it there already that CentOS wants to connect to Windows. So we add that device. Windows is a little slow. That's why you should switch to Linux. OK. And we'll add, we'll share pictures with CentOS. OK, save. Let's refresh this to make sure everything's good. OK, now we're going to go back to CentOS and add this directory here that it wants, that Ubuntu wants to share. And we'll give this a path. OK, so let's take a look at our pictures directory here uh, in files. Now this CentOS computer has a dog in its pictures directory. So we want to share that. We'll hit Control L, and we can get the path here. We go here and paste in that path. Save that. We'll share everything together. And we're not going to need that anymore because it's all shared together. OK. Now, if we're patient, we should see these all come together soon. And there they are. Everything's up to date on CentOS. I got all three pictures. Let's check on Ubuntu. There they are, the new dog picture. And Windows. There they are. Everything's syncing together. So I hope you enjoyed this. And hope you check out Computate.org where, where I make this all possible. So remember, switch to Linux, Computate your way to success, and life is terrific. Just enjoy it. <laughs>